growing up, I was always taller than uh, than all my friends. Um, as long as I can remember, it was like that. And you know, when we were younger, my dad and mom, like, there was some like, if you're this many inches by the time you're two, then based on your parents' height, you should project to be this tall. And I projected at like 6'10", so I always had an idea that I was gonna be a lot taller uh, than all my peers. You know, when he was first born, he filled up the bassinet, and the, the doctor checking on him said, I wanna be around when he signs his contract, because he knew he was gonna be some type of athlete, just by his size. Baseball early, that's because my husband worked every Saturday and I had nine kids, so they all did the same sport. And it was a church league and it was very easy for me to do on Saturday mornings. Was Taylor any good at baseball? Yeah, he was pretty good. Terrible. Absolutely atrocious. Um, you know, I was on like a church league when I was little, like playing t-ball and even like baseball when I was like nine, ten. I was just really, I was just bad at it. I guess uh, my coordination, uh, you know, didn't work out to be that way. The kids wanted a basketball hoop and my husband said no because we didn't have a paved driveway and there was really no good place for them to play. So they made their own basketball hoop in the trash can on the swing set. And then uh, that was like, my husband was like, you're killing the grass when I play basketball. So then we moved to a big house with acreage and first thing we did was get a basketball hoop. His older brother Peter came to us and said, I really think you need to put Taylor in basketball. He's, he's pretty good and uh, for not having ever played organized ball. So, uh, you know, it was a yes. And so I joined a, uh, just a YMCA, like summer rec league and playing there, everyone said like, wow, you have a lot of potential. You need to play AU. Like, why aren't you going to a school playing? Like you could go to college. And so I began to see that um, I might have a future with this. Well, uh, you know, the, the teams that were prospecting him, the, the coaches were all like, as most would, like, what's this homeschool and uh, what kind of competitiveness is the homeschool league? And we, as much as we attempted to let them know it was a very competitive high school, homeschool league down in Richmond, uh, some of the coaches questioned it and they wanted him, who were serious in him, they wanted him to be in a more competitive environment. And I was completely against it. I, as the homeschool mom, had poured many years into this guy and then he's going to graduate from a Christian school. I'm like, no, I want some credit here. So going into my senior year, part of it was motivated by basketball. Um, I wanted to be at a more competitive level. Another aspect was I wanted some experience in a classroom setting because I knew going to college I would be in a classroom setting with teachers that weren't my, weren't my mom and dad. And so I wanted kind of to um, break the ice there before I got to college because I knew college would be a lot harder. He had several colleges looking at him, but he really felt when he visited the Mount, this is where he was to come. One of the big reasons I came here was the team. When I came on my visit, I thought, wow, this is a good group of guys who are really close, and I want to be part of that team. I don't know if I can find words to tell you how exciting it has been for him to be part of this program and watch him mature as the opportunities that he's had, that he's taken hold of, to see him work so hard. He just will do whatever it takes to get where he needs to be. When he was in his um, college bound program and coaches would see him play, they, not many 6'10", 6'11", kids would go on the floor for loose ball and he went on the floor for loose balls. And they liked that about him and I think it's because of his accepting a challenge. Uh, it really moved him to the next level. I think a lot of people that don't play sports in college don't understand the level of commitment it takes every day to be good. It's not just when you step on the court, it's also what you're eating every day, how much you're drinking, uh, staying hydrated, getting your schoolwork done, getting rest. And when you are able to do that, uh, the rewards are off the charts and fully worth it. But I think a lot of people don't, they, you know, they see the success on the court and us winning games and making shots and stuff, but the amount of time and effort and energy and commitment we put into it every single day um, might be something they don't realize.